Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back. <clears throat> it's Wednesday and I'm not feeling too good today. I actually stayed home from work because I woke up feeling really sick. Like sick to my stomach, like nauseous and yucky this morning. And I thought, since you know my pattern is to get up, you know, get, you know, cleaned up and walk out the door, which probably did not come into handy because when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel really well. I felt kind of nauseous and sick to my stomach and stuff. I thought in like the 20 minutes, half an hour, it would take me to like, you know, get ready and get out the door that I would feel better. But I kind of like just didn't feel well and I had a tough time like drinking my coffee and stuff like that. So I was like, um, and I really haven't like taken, I, I don't normally like don't call out. Um, unless I'm, like, chest cold, head cold, whatever, and I'm like, no, I'm going to call out today, so I did. I actually called and said that I didn't feel well. I didn't have uh, much on my agenda. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to be super busy, and it's I'm probably going to be late tomorrow night, but, um, I got two, two opposite directions. I have a fire, fire start in the morning and then out to like Norristown which is kind of where I used to live um it's like 45 minutes an hour in the opposite direction so it's going to be a busy day tomorrow but since it wasn't a busy day today I just called out when you don't feel good why force yourself and I did not feel good at all this morning <laughs> so anyway so anyway I gotta tell you um like I was awake I was doing stuff around the house this morning I was like getting some laundry getting some cleaning done and stuff like that but I didn't feel good this afternoon so I decided to lay down and take a nap in like the little hour and a half or maybe it was about two hours I had the two like weirdest dreams and I don't remember dreaming like for the past few weeks I think but today I had like two really weird dreams like one was me I needed circuit breakers and now of course like I don't always dream electrical stuff but I needed circuit breakers so instead of going and buying them I decided I was going to steal them out of the panel from the bar down the street so I decided I was going to go down and just unhook all of their wiring in the panel and just steal the circuit breakers which I would never do anyway because I'd rather have new ones than used ones but but in the dream like I'm I'm unhooking like everything in their electrical panel and like there's somebody had called the cops so the cops were like pulling it. the electrical panel was outside which will never happen um it shouldn't happen anyway it should be in your basement or somewhere like in a closet or something like that um and like here i am i'm like grabbing the circuit breakers out and like a, like a cop pulls in and there i was it was like on the back of a building where the parking lot was or something and like i'm ducking between the cars and the cop pulls in and they see that the panel is open and um, they don't find me, so they leave, like they pull out, and then I go back to grabbing as many circuit breakers as I can, and there must have been about like 30, 40 in there, but I guess instead of taking how many I needed, I was in the dream I was going to take all of them, which is kind of greedy and selfish, but it's a dream. So then another cop, like, pulls into, the, like, there were parking spaces there, and another cop pulls in, and, like, I dive under this, like, parked car and stuff. I don't know, but their circuit breakers were all over the ground, and at that point, I just abandoned the whole thing because I didn't want to get arrested. So, like, I don't even know if I got the circuit breakers after all that work that I did because, like, I... That dream switched into another dream at some point. You know how your dreams switch very quickly, or mine do anyway? Um, and in the second dream, I went to visit friends of mine that I haven't seen in, in at least... 20 years um these were friends that i grew up with in my original neighborhood before i moved like the first time and i went to go like visit them and it's like we p kind of picked up like right where we left off before i moved and i was like I, I think i was like eight or nine when i moved so like they were around the same age um but it's like we never like lost touch even though we haven't really talked in 20 years and they had this little lake, this small pond, like, next to their house. And they're like, come on, we're all going swimming. I was like, no, I don't have my bathing suit. And they're like, come on, just go swimming or whatever. So it was nighttime, and everybody's swimming in this, like, little pond. And I didn't have a bathing suit. So I was sitting on the side, and I decided to stick my feet in the water. And the water was like bath water. It was, like, really, really warm. So I decided that I was going to take my clothes off, all of them, and go swimming 
And I did. I got in the little lake and I was swimming around. And then as soon as I got in the lake, they all decided that they were getting out at that point. So, and everybody's like standing up on the side of the water, you know, a side of the lake. And they all have bathing suits on and I have no clothes on. And they're like staring at me because I'm in the water. And I'm like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Blah, 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 blah. And next thing I know, they're all walking up to the house. And my clothes that were on the ground are gone. Like, they took my clothes from me, or they, or all of a sudden my clothes, like, disappeared. And there was nothing for me to wear, except there was, in, like, a pair of old cut-off jean shorts. Like, that were too big for me. I, I, I don't know, I remember just putting on the jean shorts and, like, trying to, like, cover up, like, the rest of my body or whatever. And then, like, walking up to the house, and I'm like, do you know where my clothes are? And they're all laughing at me, and they're like... They're joking and they're pointing at me, which is not uncommon. I mean, I'm, it doesn't bo it might have bothered me back then, but it doesn't bother me now. And, like, this guy who I think was, like, one of their husbands or whatever, and they're like, you want some coffee? I don't want coffee. I want my clothes. I have a pair of jean shorts that are hanging off my body that are ten times too big for me, and I have no shirt on. I don't want coffee. Give me something to wear. Give me a jacket. Give me anything to cover up my body so he kept saying like in the dream like the coffee was eight horsepower coffee eight horsepower don't even ask me what that translates into he's like you want some coffee it's eight horsepower I still don't know what that means and I don't even know where eight horsepower is cycling in my head to be coming up in my dream so anyway, like I woke up, you know, I don't even know if I got clothes on at that point, but thank God it was just a dream. And I, I woke up and I was thinking about eight horsepower and like no clothes and stealing circuit breakers. And I'm like, what the hell is going on in my mind that I'm dreaming weird stuff like that? I guess it's like, do you have weird dreams when you're sick? Like I have weird dreams, but like when I'm not feeling good, like I guess when your body chemicals are off or whatever, like. Do you ever have weird dreams? Do you ever have weird dreams like that? I haven't had the naked dream in years. I can't tell you the last time I had the naked dream. But I had the naked dream today. What the hell is going on? I'm like, oh my god. I don't know. But anyway, that was my Wednesday. I was homesick today. I have been in my pajamas since I woke up. I decided I'm not getting out of my pajamas until I go and take my shower, which I'm taking in the next few minutes. But, um... It's getting late, and I realized that I didn't vlog. I mean, 